Think about the game you've spent the most amount of time on. Now think, is that an addiction? Because that is what a Quebec lawsuit is confirming and going through by suing Epic Games, making Fortnite too addictive. Yes, I'm completely serious. A lawsuit from 2019 was just issued to move forward in Quebec because parents are claiming Fortnite is so addictive it's comparable to cocaine. Only 18% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed to the channel. Don't be part of the 81%. Subscribe to the channel. You have no Nothing to lose. Superior Court Justice has authorized a lawsuit against Epic Games for that. Originally, it was filed in 2019, alleging that it is so addictive it can cause real world harm. According to CTV, the parents of three children who spent thousands of dollars playing Fortnite claim that the Battle Royale caused their kids to suffer psychological, physical, and financial harm. The parents say their kids spent hundreds of dollars on V-Books, sometimes without their knowledge and would even have panic attacks over the game. One of these kids was frequently up until 3 a.m. playing over 7,781 hours of the game in under two years. Another is said to have played 59,954 minutes. Quebec judge lets Fortnite's Let's parents sue Fortnite creator. The firm representing the parents, Calix, even cited addiction specialist Mrs. Smith who compared Fortnite to cocaine, which is honestly ridiculous. So let's break this down. Let's break this down. Uh, uh, you know what? We're going to start off by saying yes. Video game addiction is completely real. Like I know some people that will I know some people that will end up playing like 16 hours of League of Legends every day, and I think we can all agree that that is very unhealthy behavior. And yeah, that might even constitute, you know, being addicted. I, I, I'm gonna, just going to completely come out and say, yeah, that's probably being addicted to fucking video games. But this is just a little ridiculous, especially when it's their children that are apparently addicted to this game. Yeah. It sounds like another example of parents just not being good parents, if we're going to be completely honest. So they said, you know, their kids, their three kids spent thousands of dollars playing this game and it caused them f a psychological harm. What kind of psychological harm are you having from playing a fucking video game? I mean, seriously, what I, I have no idea what they're kind of talking about, like physical and financial harm. Yeah, I can kind of see what problems they'd have, but so, you know what? I, I just I don't understand that the physical one I can definitely get. Yeah, if you're spending seven, almost eight thousand hours on Fortnite in two years. Yeah, you're probably having some physical harm. I mean, bro needs to go out and get a fucking go play some fucking game with his friend you know go like real life games like go play soccer go play basketball with some friends holy shit 8,000 hours like you know what oh my god I'm gonna have to take a break and google how much that is okay let's put this into perspective because I just googled it 8,000 hours is 333 days you're telling me within a two-year span this guy paid this guy played almost an entire year of Fortnite that is not Fortnite problems, bro. That's the kid's problem. That's the parent's problem. Th this is, like, don't get me wrong. I have an ungodly amount of time in some video games. You know what? I have a stupid amount of free time. You know what? At least until I, you know, start school, which will be soon. However, there's no way in hell I spent 333 days in two years playing a video game. That is fucking insane. That's like the equivalent of starting to play Fortnite at 9 a.m. in the morning and staying up till 3 a.m. in the morning like every fucking day for two years. Like that, at, at what point is that not Fortnite's problem and that's just, you know, the parents' problem? I mean, that kind of shit would not fly in my house. Like, don't get me wrong. I had a pretty chill home experience but i mean my my parents you know if they saw me playing too much video games you know they kicked me out of the house you know go uh, run around with the neighborhood kids and you know screw around play games i mean it's a normal thing for children and don't get me wrong i completely understand what they're trying to say like uh i remember when i got my first xbox i that's all i wanted to do you know i wanted to play xbox i didn't want to go outside and you know play with my friends i just wanted to play xbox and you know what a good parent does like my parents did they kicked me out of the house you know they said no more xbox they turn off my xbox and they you know they said go outside you know touch grass and i mean i think more parents need to do this like don't get me under uh, don't get me wrong i understand that could be a little hard especially with a kid that is playing 
that is playing almost an entire year of Fortnite in two years time like yeah it's probably that they're, they're they're having some problems but you cannot tell me that it's more Fortnite problem than the parents problem I mean the parents are just not good parents and it looks like they're just trying to you know get some Fortnite money if we're gonna be completely honest like this lawsuit is probably not gonna go through I mean I think any judge that has even the slightest amount of credibility or you know IQ in their brain is gonna look at this and say yeah it's definitely the parents fault and not the fucking video game and that's another thing they mentioned how uh, they spent hundreds of dollars on V bucks sometimes without the parents knowledge okay are you are you seriously telling me that that is a normal behavior in your house I never did that when I was a kid okay you do not have serious parents if you could get away with spending hundreds of dollars on you know your parents credit card I'm sorry that's just how it is I mean in my household not only would I never think to do that because that is fucking crazy behavior i mean even when i was like eight years old or whatever i knew that was unacceptable behavior but if i did i would you know i would suffer some pretty bad consequences you know what i wouldn't have i wouldn't be able to eat you know dinner or whatever you know what i have to go work i'd have to shovel snow or i'd have to mow some lawns to make up the money to pay them back i mean that's what a normal adult would do but it sure sounds like a parent that lets their kid play fucking 330 days of fortnite in two years probably isn't going to give them any consequences if we're going to be compared. and the other person said they would have panic attacks over the game now that is completely extreme like don't get me wrong i've seen many compilations of kids getting too upset and i mean honestly i think that's kind of normal behavior because when you're a kid you don't know how to control your emotions as much you know as as soon as you know when when you get older it's a little easier because you've had time to you know learn about it but when you're a kid i can understand that panic attacks is a little extreme though i really hope that they're exaggerating when they're talking about this because if they're not you know what if your kid is having a panic attack over the video game it's time to um it's time to go full reset you know what i mean it's time to uh kick him out of the house take away grass you know get rid of that console for a year at least at least at least a year i mean and that's another thing it's like are you, they seriously trying to say that f it's fortnite's problem that they bought you know the playstation or whatever and let their kids play I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I understand. I mean, just the other day we talked about how some of the deceptive practices in Fortnite led to people spending like millions of dollars on unwarranted purchases. So I can definitely understand the hundreds of V-Bucks, you know, just flying out the door. Maybe it was, you know, it was deceptive marketing or whatever. But if you know 7,000 hours of Fortnite and that like don't get me wrong there every single game has incentives to continue playing I mean that's how they make their money of course and that makes sense that's how a, you know businesses should run but at what point do these parents just you know get their heads out of their asses and be like yeah it's my fault that the kid's not going outside and it's not epic games you know the people that make their silly little Fortnite game uh, but that's just my thoughts. You can let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Yesterday, we made a video, again, talking about Fortnite's actual deceptive uh, monetary policies and how they literally, they're getting a big fine from the FTC worth half a billion dollars. This is a video where we break down the entire fine. Here's a video you're not going to want to miss. Click here to watch it now.